Good morning everybody, this is Lawrence here. Well, I fully packed up everything in Breda because today I am on my way to Antwerp. Yes, I'll be leaving the Netherlands, cross the border into Belgium, where about in Belgium? Flanders. Because in Flanders, I will be going to Antwerp. Yes, I said it a second time, Antwerp. And I'll be staying there for two nights. What that means is that with my electric bike, for how many kilometers I will ride is going to be over 49 kilometers. Yes, 49 kilometers is pretty short, so it shouldn't be too bad. And so, look at that. Glorious sunny day, and um, there shouldn't be any problem whatsoever. And, and by the way, it's gonna be a very easy journey. Okay, I fully packed Bendigay front over there with all the stuff in the, on the rack pannier and the rest of the stuff in the trailer. But of course, uh, the one thing I need to do is to strap this uh, along with the rack pannier and also to unlock my bike so that I can proceed to go ahead 49 kilometers to Antwerp. As you can tell, there is a cycle lane, a two-way cycle lane within the street governed by the full of cars there. But of course, cars are guests among this uh, lane, which is what's very good about the Netherlands, is that bicycles are have uh, higher values in the Netherlands and so yeah this is what I'll miss about the Netherlands but of course right now another cycling city which is not in the Netherlands but in another country Belgium but what about London? yeah Antwerp is where I'm going one of the biggest cycling cities along with Utrecht Amsterdam and uh, other cities and so here we go <laughs> about uh, cycling through the Netherlands is that it's not just uh, cycling itself but also I get to interact with many different types of people and of course in Eimechen and in Utrecht I get to perform, oh shit, I get to perform some music in uh, open mic nights one at the Zollers pub in uh, Nijmegen and also at the Oterpotos in Utrecht and wow it was so great, it was so great, and it made me feel to say that I would love to go there again to play some music once again, and that's the reason, reason why I'm carrying this mandola on my back. And for now, yep, we got a couple of hours away until reaching the Belgian border. Do you know what that means? I have to change myself, start wearing a helmet, start wearing a reflector, and all that. And it's cycling in Belgium as usual, just like an average cyclist who will protect himself with all his uh, reflector, helmet, you name it. Because, you know, pretty much very car centric. Except that Antwerp is pretty much of a cycling city. So, yeah, here we go. On the way to Antwerp we go. Well, I'm getting changed in my cycling gear and also putting my helmet on. You know why? Because since I'm leaving the Netherlands, I'll be on my way to Belgium. And so, brace yourselves for a car-centric society slash a bit of cycling culture in Antwerp as we're going to Antwerp because it's, it's going to be Belgian territory because the rest of Belgium is all very car-centric and so that's why I put my helmet on and so... Let's go! Here we go, the moment of truth. As we're about to cross the border, leaving the Netherlands, about to enter Flanders, which is in Belgium. And so, wait for it. Welcome to Belgium, everybody. Yep, Antwerpen, the province of Antwerp. This is where we're going, 
into the city of Antwerp, which is only a couple of kilometers away. And so, yes. <laughs> I did it. I've made it to Antwerp uh, for I don't know how many times, fifth or sixth time. Well, anyway, I made it to Antwerp uh, as part of the journey through Flanders and the Netherlands, except right now I'm in Flanders. And so, yeah, this is the last destination before I will be able to go back home in two days time. And so it has been a great adventure with this bike, especially. And so, uh, yeah. Third time in a row I've been doing this. Right now, I'm gonna check into the hotel and then I'm going somewhere to celebrate. Well, here I am in the hotel of City Box with the view of Antwerp, you see? The view of Antwerp. Cars, bicycles, trams, and also many, many people on the street as well. Well, I gotta say it has been an incredible adventure. What an incredible adventure it has been. And I can't believe that I've gone this far. Third time in a row I've been doing this. I went through Diest, through Eindhoven, Nijmegen for two nights, Utrecht for three nights, Setogenbosch for one night, Breda for one night, and now two nights in Antwerp. Well, this is the last video for this year's playlist, or let's say this month's playlist in April for Flanders and the Netherlands 2024. It has been an incredible adventure, and this is why I'll put an end to it uh, just for this year. Well, let's say this month, because in August I will travel through the Netherlands once again, through early August until mid-August, just before I will go straight to Lithuania the following day by the time I go back home. But for now, this month in April, I'm just going to enjoy Antwerp, and then after Antwerp I will ride 103 kilometers back home, and this is where I won't make any more videos about this until further notice. And this will be the last video for this year's playlist for cycling in Flanders and the Netherlands. And I really hope you really enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for following me on the cycling adventure, this incredible cycling adventure for Flanders and the Netherlands. It has been great especially three times in a row I've been doing this. It means a lot to me because cycling has always been my passion. It's always been very helpful for my mental health, for my physical health, and also for my well-being and also for the wellness as well. But for now, I'm just going to chill out, relax, and then I'll see you on the flip side. Thank you all very much for watching and have a nice day.